U.S.-Mexico talk clamp down on illegal immigration leaders say. The United States and Mexico plan to clamp down on illegal immigration at their shared border leaders from both countries said on Monday, vowing to disrupt irregular crossings that have reached record levels in recent years. In a phone conversation on Sunday, U.S. President Joe Biden and Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador said their administrations would soon take steps to decrease illegal crossings, while also addressing the economic and security problems that cause people to migrate the USB Border Patrol Copen's new tab a monthly record of 25,000 migrants crossing illegally in December, but numbers have dropped significantly since then with 137,000 arrests in March. Immigration authorities unreasonably delayed UVIS applications judge says, some undocumented immigrants who say USC Citizenship and Immigration Services passed over their U visa applications have standing to sue a federal judge in the Southern District of California ruled Tuesday afternoon U visa special visa. Given to immigrant victims of certain crimes, U visas are intended to help law enforcement investigate serious crimes like trafficking, torture, and murder, and are meant to encourage more reporting of crime in undocumented immigrant communities. The act sets an annual cape of 1,000 visas. The plaintiffs say they filed for U visas in 2017, but have been on a wait list ever since. They say that their applications have been passed over in favor of applications filed after 2017 in a violation of Immigration Service's own regulations, which state that the oldest applications are to receive the highest priority. U.S. Senior District Judge Thomas Whelan wrote in his 12-page opinion that the plaintiffs properly stated a claim for relief under the Administrative Procedure Act because immigration services had engaged in unreasonable delay in processing the applications. After this lawsuit was filed, several of the original plaintiffs received an intervening final agency decision. Thus, at least some possibility exists that USCIS reconsidered and acted on those pending petitions. Whalen said, while some of the original 24 plaintiffs were voluntarily dismissed over lack of jurisdiction, other plaintiffs were dismissed from the action because immigration had since processed their applications, rendering their claims moot. DACA recipients will now be eligible for federal health care coverage under new Biden rule. More than 1,000 young immigrants protected by the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program will soon become eligible to receive federal health care coverage for the first time since DACA was implemented over a decade ago. The Biden administration will announce ENU Federal Rule Friday allowing DACA recipients to enroll in a qualified health plan through the Affordable Care Act insurance marketplace or become eligible for coverage through a basic health program. Event Hot, the program has helped them access better paying jobs and educational opportunities since it was first implemented in 2012. DACA beneficiaries had been barred from accessing federally funded health insurance despite contributing billions in federal taxes, pouring funds into the nation's federal health insurance system for years. While many DACA recipients get health insurance through their jobs, more than a quarter are estimated to currently be uninsured. Friends, show us some love and smash the like button. It doesn't cost you anything. If you have an immigration problem or need a second opinion because you cannot get a hold of your own lawyer, schedule a meeting with our team. Share information with our CARES team and they will help you get scheduled with our legal team.